Hi, happy Monday. Welcome back to the Monday Motivation Story. I'm Shiva, the trainer, author, and motivational speaker on a mission to reach out to a million people through my books, videos, blog, training sessions, and motivational talks. Thank you. Thank you very much for your support in my mission. Let us get going with the 17th Monday motivational story today. There were 16 videos posted already. If you wish to watch any of those videos posted earlier, please visit the playlist Monday Motivations on my YouTube channel. A question to begin with once again. What do you think is the most difficult and the biggest task you ever performed on the planet Earth? Yes. Climbing the Mount Everest or flying into the space and returning to the earth safely or even bigger than that, landing on the moon and returning to the earth safely or crossing the oceans or inventing the computer and the internet. Well, you might be correct. But I have a different choice. Let me explain that in today's Monday motivational story. In Satya Yuga, there were the devatas, the good, the good people, the devotees, and the demons, the rakshasas. There had always been a conflict between them. However, they came together to accomplish a common task with a common goal. What is that? Yes, you guessed it right. They wanted to remain immortal. Both of them wanted to live forever. They want to get the divine nectar of immortality. They wanted to drink the divine nectar of immortality. Hence, they came together, they teamed up to work as a team to perform the most difficult and the biggest task ever performed on the planet Earth. And that is the churning of the ocean of milk. Imagine churning a ocean and how massive it is. And in order to churn the ocean, they needed a churning staff of the size of a mountain. Hence, both the Devatas and the Rakshasas gathered in lakhs of numbers, labored hard and uprooted the mountain Mandara and brought it to the seashore. So they brought it to the shore and they started wondering how to now take it to the center of the ocean from where they could churn the ocean. And they were also worried how to keep it afloat and not allowing it to sink and hit the bottom of the ocean and get stuck there. And that is when the Lord Vishnu came in and helped them. Ah. Lord Vishnu first lifted the mountain and kept it on the shoulders of Garuda and further instructed Garuda to place that mountain on his own back as Vishnu took the avatar Kurma the tortoise, so that his back could be used as a pivot upon which the churning mountain could turn. He told the Devatas and Rakshasas to use the Mount Mandara as the churning stick and the serpent Vasuki as a churning rope and churn the ocean by pulling it back and forth. They followed his instructions and they did accordingly. As this greatest effort of churning the ocean progressed over the years, it also produced the rewards of the highest order. It not only produced the divine nectar for which the whole effort was put in, but also the 13 other most wonderful things that you could ever think of. What are they? Number one, Kamadenu, the wish fulfilling cow of plenty. Number two, Airavata, the stately white elephant. Number three, with Chaishravas, the divine white horse for Indra. Number four, Parijata, 
the divine tree of fragrance number 5 rambha and all other most beautiful apsarasas number 6 chandra the moon taken by lord shiva number 7 kalpa vriksha the wish fulfilling tree which would give anything and everything that you want number 8 kaustabha the precious diamond taken by vishnu himself number 9 hala hala the deadly poison consumed by lord shiva number 10 shank the conch shell of lord vishnu number 11 lakshmi the goddess of wealth with a lotus in her hand number 12 dhanush the mighty bow and number 13 sura varuni the goddess of wine and finally number 14 Dhanvantri the god of medicine with a pot of the divine nectar of immortality the amrut in his hand oh my god what an effort and what a result no wonder the greatest gifts ever were the result of the greatest efforts look at it first there was an intent then there was an effort of required magnitude that yielded the results commensurate with the effort so what is the message of the monday motivational story today anticipating a great result with an ordinary effort is simply ridiculous and if we want to get an extraordinary result we have to put in an extraordinary effort period and there is neither a substitute nor a shortcut for it simple equation results are directly proportional to the efforts we put in right you agree with me yes or yes yes thank you thank you very much now let me give you three steps for your success step number 1 firstly identify the rewards you would like to earn step number 2 then make a list of all the efforts you need to put in to achieve your chosen goals finally step number 3 get into action put in excellence in every effort your success is guaranteed thank you for watching the video if you liked it please click on the like button there and also share it with others on whatsapp and facebook and other social media if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe and click on the bell icon there so that you get notifications and you will not miss any of my videos see you again next monday have a great week ahead remember you are awesome